Hello, this is Mike Lila, and this is a video on how to make a double-sided image in Flash Catalyst. So let's go ahead and show you the demo real quick here. So go up to uh, File and go Run Project. So here's an image of my beautiful family. When you click on it, it flips around and, oh yeah, please hire me. I've got nine kids. So click on that again, and it flips back. And so you have a double image here uh, built in Flash Catalyst. And so when you flip over, there's something on one side, and you flip back, and there's something on the other side. Now this may seem complicated to build, but you can build something like this in about five minutes in Flash Catalyst. Where in Paper Vision, it takes a little bit of time. Now in Paper Vision, what I would do to build something like this is actually create two planes and put something on one and something on the other. And you have to do the same thing in Flash Catalyst, so let's get to it. So let's go ahead and start a new project. So we'll file, new project, and we won't save the changes, no. Let's just go ahead and start a new one. And just 800 and 600 is fine, and we'll choose a uh, gray background. Hit OK. Now the first thing I'm going to do is just import an image. So I'll go File, Import, and I'll import my family image. There you go. And I'll move it kind of to the center. Now what I want to do is I want to put an image right behind it. So let's go over here to uh, Layers. And so I have one image there, and I'm going to put an image right behind it. So I go back to File Import. Let me squeeze this all together so you can see all this together. There we go. Bring this out. So go File and import your second image. And let's just bring in that second image. Please hire image. And now that image is on top of the other. What I actually want to do is center both of these on top, exactly on top of each other. So I'm going to come over here to my uh, image uh, positioner, and I'm just going to, let's just make the X position 300 and the Y position 100. And also notice I've mip mapped the images. Each image is 256 by 256, taking care of those filters. I'm going to click on the next image, and same thing, going to make that 300 and the other one 100. And it doesn't matter where I put them because I'm going to make a component out of both of them that I'll use in my application. Uh, I just want to make sure they're both exactly on top of each other. And I actually want the higher image below the uh, uh, family image. So I just come along here and I can actually go ahead and just call that higher. So I know that's the higher image. And then this is family. Double click just renaming. That's family image. And now I'm going to, just like you would do in Photoshop, just pull the layer above the other one and now the family image is on top of the other images on the back. Now at this point I, I want to turn both of these into a component. I can take this component and put it into any program in Flash Builder and put it anywhere so it's not uh, native to uh, having a code on top of it. So I've selected both of the images. So I'm going to right click on those and turn those into a component. And you go custom component. That's at the bottom. I'm going to bring this, move this around a little bit so you can actually see that interaction. Right click Create component, custom component. And now it's a component. And so when I click on it, that's going to bring me to the lower level. So let's click on it. it. Takes me down one. And now I'm in the custom component. Now what I want to do here is actually turn both of these into a group so I can get interactivity with it. So if I don't turn it into a group or a component, I can't click on it. So I'm going to right click and just turn it into a group. There you go. And I'm just going to create another state. So duplicate state. And now I have two states. I can go from one to the other and flip this thing over. So all I have to do now is going from state 1 to 2 is, is flip it over 180 degrees. So let's go down to the bottom here. What I want to do is I want to add an action. When well, I'm going from state 1 to state 2, so I go add action. And I'm going to add a 3D rotation. Great. And I want that rotation to go 180 degrees. There you go. So when I rotate that, 180 degrees. But I don't see my other image. And the reason I don't see that other image is because... the it's because the layer that this is in, this is in the uh, top layer. So when I flip it over, it's still in the top layer. So what I want to do is basically just have its alpha go away and the other one will appear. So what I'm going to do now is I have state 1 and state 2. Go over here to your uh, components right here. Make sure you're in state 1 and state 2. Okay. Make sure you're clicked on state 1. And in state 1, I want the family to show, but the higher not to show. And in state 2, I want the family not to show, but the higher to show. There we go. And what I'm going to do now, in my rollover, you can see automatically I got a fade in and fade out right at the flip point. That's 180 degrees, or 90 degrees. Right at the flip point, which is 90 degrees, I want the fade in and fade out to occur. So now when I run this, let's hit the run button. Boom. Oh, isn't that cool? 
But there's a problem now. What's happened is it's flipped that back image over 180 degrees, and so it's actually facing the wrong way. What I want to do in a sense, this is a little bit of thinking here, is I want to reverse and then flip it. So let's go ahead and do the reverse. So I want to make sure that image is clicked on. So we're going to go right to this, click right here. See, it's not, it's not highlighted because it's invisible, but I can still click on it. Then I'm going to add something. So I'm bringing this down. I'm going to add an action, a rotation action. That's right. But I want the rotation of that to be minus 180. Which means it's going to be rotated back. So let's run it now and see what happens. There it is. So what's really happening here, and I don't even have to have that, that just has to happen at the very beginning of the action, so I don't have to have it go all the way through. So watch what I'm going to do here. I'm going to open this up a little bit so I can get, grab the handler there. I'm going to push it all the way to the end. So automatically what's happened, so what happens here is I immediately flip it when I start the rotation. Then at mid, like at 90 degrees, I fade one in and fade one out automatically, and I rotate completely. There you go works perfectly. And now I want to go the other way. So to go the other way I need to go from state 2 to 1 so I make sure I'm clicked on that. If you're not clicked on that you got problems. And then I got my fade in and fade out. That's great. But I just want to add my action now. So let's add my action. Put 3D rotation. Let's pull those to the 9 degrees point. So at 9 degrees this fades out and the family fades in so you don't so it flips automatically for you. And then I'm going to run that real quick. Oh ho! There you go. And now all I want to do now is pretty much just add some interaction. So let's add the interaction to that. So I can do that in any state. I'll just go back to state 1. I'm going to right click on that and go, okay, let's add some. So we're going to go from state 1 to state 2. Right click on the image. Let's make sure that's highlight. Good. Right click, add interaction. Let me bring that down so you can see that. Okay, we're going to right click on the image and go add interaction. Now you can see that. And when we're in state 1, we want to go to state 2. So when we're in state 1, go to state 2. Hit OK and right click okay let's add interaction again now you can't see that so let me click on that again there you go add interaction and when you're in, go to state one when you're in state two so now it's added all the code for me automatically to make this occur let's run this program so click on it it flips over and click back it flips back now you notice that it flipped the wrong direction everything didn't work right so i want to flip the other direction so look at that, just kind of messed up. So make sure it goes the opposite direction. So let's go back and change our flipping. So I noticed there was an error, and sometimes you need to go back and look at some of this. I'm going from 180 to 0, and I can see there's an error right here. And it's because I'm just flipping the higher image. I actually want to flip the entire group. So I'm just going to click on this and go right to Trash Can and just trash it. And I want to make sure I come over here to the uh, Layers and click on Group, and that highlights both of those images. And now I can rotate the group. So I go to Add Action. Now you're going to see Rotate 3D, and now what you see here is a group action. It's going to rotate that, and we want to rotate that 180 degrees, or from 180 to 0. There you go. And sometimes it just takes a little playing around with the angle so you understand what you're doing. So now let's run the program. And indeed at this point, it is just working beautifully. Don't you love that? Ah, just great. So that's basically a 2D rotation, double-sided. A lot of people want to put something on the back of an image. And this is how you do it in Flash Catalyst in its present state. Now, Adobe may refine this and make it easier to do. Uh, actually, not too hard to do right now as it is. So at this point, what you do is you bring all this into a, a import it into Flash Builder. And the way you do that is just simple file, import, uh, import to Flash Builder. Click on that, and it'll bring that exact program into Flash Builder. And then you'll have access to all the code. So as a developer, you can go in there and change that. I'm going to run this real quick in Flash Builder so you get the exact same action. Now, here's just that single component we just made. And so now I can actually take this component, here it is right here, and dump it anywhere. I can rename it, dump it, and use it for whatever project I want to use it for. And so that's why I actually turn anything to comp component. So it takes all the code off that first layer, and you can use it for everything else. So here it is. Flip it over. Oh, -ho, there we go, and flip it back, back again. Working really great, uh, nice interaction, and if you wondered how you might do this in Flash Catalyst, here it is. This is Mike Lively. Thanks for listening.